Hi, all my yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Now, today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet our breast cancer awareness ribbon slouchy. Now, I've chosen to do breast cancer colors bright pink and white, but this hat can be made in any awareness ribbon colors. And the other nice thing about this pattern is you can do just the headband if you want to or continue on and make it into a nice and roomy slouchy. Now I do recommend when you're learning this pattern that you do a practice swatch first. This pattern is an intermediate pattern, but it's really not that difficult once you learn how to make the ribbon because it is a crochet cable stitch pattern. But it is a little bit tricky until you figure it all out. And you're going to need three in a row for our hat pattern. And then if you need it to be bigger around, because the hat itself is very stretchy, and it will fit anywhere from an 18 inch head up to a 24 inch head because it is made to be very roomy and comfortable to wear. And if you need to add more rows, you can add some more rows while we do the band and it doesn't mess up the top of the hat because they're just basic rows of double crochet. I striped mine and then we close it up gathering it closed. So it is a basic pattern once you learn how to do these cable stitch pattern for the ribbons. All right, now again, I did mine in two colors. You could do it all in one color if you want to, but I like doing the two colors because it makes the ribbon really pop. Now you can find all the information on how to make the headband and the hat and the swatch on my blog, there's lots of pictures and information, and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. So what you need to make the breast cancer or any cancer awareness slouchy is of course two colors. We're using Red Heart with Love today in white and this super bright pink. And that's again because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And again, you can use whatever colors that you want, long as it's a medium weight number four yarn. These are acrylic soft yarns. You can use a soft cotton or any fiber that you want as long as it's soft and medium weight number four. We're going to be stitching today with our eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle and a pair of scissors. Now, as far as the amounts that you're going to need, you're going to need two ounces of each color, which is a total of about four ounces. This is a loose fitting, a little bit longer hat in the back so that it's a nice comfy hat to wear. So I've got both of my colors here ready to go because we'll be switching back and forth to form that cable stitch ribbon. So we're going to start with our background color. We'll make our slip knot and we're going to chain 11 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11. So I have 11 chains. I'm going to place a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then we'll stitch one single crochet in each of those chains across. Now we started with 11. We began in the second chain from the hook, so we're going to have 10 single crochets. And the number of stitches on every row of this particular section, which is the band, section, which also can be a headband, we'll have 10 stitches on each row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And chain 1. And so for row 1, we have 10 single crochets, chain 1. 
we're going to turn our work. Our chain one does not count as a stitch, so we'll start right in that first stitch and stitch one single crochet in each of those 10 stitches. So I stitched one single crochet in each of those 10. We're going to chain one and turn and just repeat what we just did. One single crochet in each of the single crochets across. And again, we're going to have 10 stitches. and chain one. So now we have three rows of single crochet. Now after our third row, we need to have a chain three. So we chained one, we'll chain two more, and this chain three counts as our first stitch. And so we're going to stitch a double crochet in each of those remaining nine stitches because the chain three counts as our first, so that's one and then we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those remaining stitches. And that will still give us 10 stitches, only this row has 10 double crochets. Again, when we do these rows that are double crochet rows, that chain three counts as our first stitch. We wanna keep a, a total <laughs> of 10 stitches on each row and it's very important for that cable stitch rows or for those cable stitch rows to have those 10 stitches so that everything works out properly. So our chain three counted as our first. I stitched one double crochet in each of the next, so I have 10 and we're going to chain three and turn. Now we're ready to begin our cable stitch portions for our ribbon. Okay, so our chain three counts as our first. We're going to double crochet in the next, only we're not going to finish that double crochet. We're going to bring in our pink and finish that double crochet stitch. All right, we're going to go ahead and stitch over our white yarn we're going to stitch a front post double crochet in the next two stitches. And that means we'll be stitching over the post of the stitch instead of up here. All right, so here's our first two. We wanna make sure we put it in the right portion of our stitch, so yarn over, go around the post, and stitch a double crochet in the next two. So there's one. Now we'll stitch our next one and we'll do the same thing, get that tail out of the way there, is we won't finish that double crochet. We'll bring our white back in and finish it. That way we have two crisp stitches, all right? So now we're going to stitch two double crochets, not front posts, just regular double crochets. And again, we're only going to do half our double crochet. We'll bring our pink back in and finish those last two stitches. And then we'll repeat two front post double crochets. And again, on that second one, we won't finish it. We'll bring our white back in and finish it. And now we're going to end with two double crochets. So we'll drop that pink one and we'll go in the next two and stitch one double crochet in each and chain three. All right, so let's take a quick look at it. We started with two double crochets, which one was our chain three 
we front post two pink ones, two double crochets regular, front post two pink ones, and two double crochet regular. So we have four front posts and six double crochets. We're going to turn our work, and when I do that, I turn this kind of going like this and pull everything to the back. All right, so our chain three counts is our first, so we're going to double crochet in the next, and we'll finish with our pink yarn. And now, because we want to stitch in those front posts, they'll be back posts because we'll be stitching through the back like this around that front post, which is a back post because we're stitching from the front to the back. And then we'll do the same thing on the next one. And we'll finish with the white like we did on row, uh, let's see, that was row five. All right, so now we're going to stitch a regular double crochet in the next two. One, two, but again, we're going to bring that pink up, finish that second double crochet, and stitch a front post double crochet around those two, or back post double crochet around the two front posts, because we're stitching from the front to the back, so it's called a back post. All right, so now we're not going to finish. We're going to finish with the white. We'll bring that pink to the back. That's very important that you bring that pink string to the back and finish with those two double crochets. All right, and chain three. All right, so let's take a look at it. Here's from the back, two double crochets, two front po or two back post double crochets, two double crochets, two back post double crochets, two double crochets, chain three. Now I'm gonna turn it over to the front side and you can see how that looks. We stitched those two back posts in our front post. So for row six, we have two double crochets, two back post double crochets, two double crochets, two back post double crochets, and two double crochets. Now on row seven, we're going to do the crossing portion. And this part is a little more tricky. And so I'm gonna take it slow so you can see what I'm doing. So our chain three again counts as a double crochet, and we're going to double crochet in this next double crochet. All right, now we're gonna skip these two stitches of the pink and we're gonna to go to these two regular double crochets and stitch one double crochet in each. But we're not gonna finish that second one of those two. We're gonna bring in our pink. All right, now we're going to front post triple in these two stitches. So we're gonna put two wraps over our hook we're gonna go around that first stitch and stitch a triple front post. Two wraps, and we'll go around that next one and stitch that front post triple. All right, so those nice long stitches there. Now we're going to cross back and do these two. So we're gonna put two wraps on our hook and we're gonna to go to the first one of the two and stitch our front post triple. Now we're gonna go to the second one of those two and stitch another front post triple. All right, now on that last portion we need to finish with our white. So we're gonna drop our pink to the back, grab our white. There we go. All right, so we didn't finish the triple, we tripled it with, or we finished it with the white. Now we're gonna to go to these last two stitches and stitch just a regular double crochet.
chain three. All right, so let's take a look at what we just stitched up. All right, for row seven, we stitch two regular double crochets in our in our background color. Then we stitch those two in the center, skipping over those two of our pink. And then we stitch two triples going this way, front post triples. Then we came back and stitched two triples going this way. And it looks a little wonky right now, but when we get that next row in, it'll straighten out real pretty. All right, and then we ended with one double crochet in the last two and our chain three. All right, and that is the way that it should look for row seven. Now row eight is also just a little bit tricky, so we're gonna take it nice and slow. We're gonna turn our work and you'll notice I have some twists here. That happens when we're doing these where we're crossing a lot. So I just take it and kind of flip it around and get it straightened out where I don't have any twists. You'll have to do that every now and then on this particular portion. Make sure everything's to the back. All right, now for row eight, we have our chain three. We're going to double crochet in the next stitch We'll bring our white to the back and pick up our pink. All right, now we're going to stitch a back post in these two that are right here that are crossed, okay? And we're stitching a regular double crochet back post. So we'll go in the first one and stitch a back post double crochet. Then we'll go in the next one and stitch a back post double crochet. We won't finish it. We'll bring our white back in. All right, we're gonna come to these first two double crochets we stitched in white, okay? So we'll stitch one double crochet in those two. One and two. But remember, we're not going to finish it. We'll bring our pink back in. All right, now we're going to stitch in the two that were crossed. So we're gonna to have to look under these two and find these two. All right, so you wanna stitch a back post in the farthest one or the second one. I'm gonna to try to bring this up here so you can see it better. There we go. Trying to do an angle here where you can see, okay? So you wanna go in that second one and stitch a regular back post. This is the trickiest portion. It's real important to find those stitches. And then here's the second one. There it is. All right, can you see that? Let me get my pink out of the way there. Finish off with the white and stitch one double crochet in the last two. And chain three. All right, so it looks a little wonky on the back, but let's turn it over. And you can now see where we have made that cross look a lot neater, okay? We did these two double crochets. We front post in the pink ones that were crossed last. Then we did the two double crochets in here, and then we went underneath and found those two that were uh, from the previous row were triples and stitched one front post double crochet in those, and then one double crochet in the last two. Now, this particular portion, these two rows, row seven and eight, are the most trickiest rows. That's the way row eight should work. All right, we're all ready for row nine. And row nine is the same way we did down here. We're going to double crochet in the next stitch. We'll finish with our pink. Front post double crochet in the next two. Finishing with our white one double crochet in the two white double crochets. I should say background color because you might not be using a solid white. 
finish with the pink on that second double crochet front post double crochet in the next two stitches with our front color or our ribbon color finish with the white and one double crochet in the next two drop that pink there we go and chain three so we did up here what we did down here two double crochets two front posts in the pink two double crochets two front posts in the pink and two double crochets now it's starting to look just like a big X okay, let's do row 10 which is the same as we did when we did the pink and white on the back rows all right so chain three counts is our first double crochet in the next finish that last stitch with our pink there we go now we're going to back post in the two pink stitches there we go and back posts are a little more tricky but once you do them for a few minutes you'll get it all right bring our pink to the back grab our white stitch a white in the next two our background color bring our white to the back and pick up our pink then we'll stitch back post in those two front posts again we're going to finish with our white and stitch one double crochet in the last two double crochets whoops missed my stitch there we go and chain three all right so now you can really see how that ribbon is forming now on row 11 we want to do the top portion of our ribbon and it's really simple our chain three counts is our first we're going to double crochet in the next two one and two we'll finish with our pink on that stitch then we'll stitch a front post in the next four one and we'll go around those two white ones that are in the center so that we have the top of our ribbon And then the next front post we'll finish with the white drop our pink and stitch a double crochet in the last three one whoops get in there <laughs> two and three and see we closed up the top of our ribbon chain one and turn and that's how it looks on the back it seems a little messy but remember this is the inside of your hat or your headband okay so now for row 12 we're just going to stitch let's make sure I got a chain three here one two three and we're just going to stitch a double crochet in each of our stitches across we're going to move our pink down our chain three counts is our first so we'll just stitch one double crochet in each of those stitches across and chain one all right let me move these strings out of the way and you can see how that looks okay and of course these are going to go around the edge of our hat now 
you will see little peaks of pink where we carried our yarn or where we switched around but I think it looks really pretty and I really love this style and again this is the basic swatch and we're going to use this two more times in order to make the band of our hat but if you want to get more familiar with how to do this you can make these swatches and they can be used for lots of other things not just the hat and it's a good idea to practice this particular portion until you feel comfortable doing it so now in order to make the hat or the headband you're going to repeat row 2 through row 12 two more times so that you have three ribbon portions. So repeat row 2 through row 12 two more times. So I have repeated row 2 through 12 two more times and that gave me three ribbons. Okay, here's my last double crochet row and then what you want to do is repeat row two, three, and four, which is the three rows of single crochet on the end, okay? And so what I, I do wanna show you one more thing and that's the back. Now I left these strings attached. I just carried them across to my next portion. If you want to cut that, you feel like it's too stringy or whatever, you can do that. You wanna cut that and weave that in. I didn't, I just left it, that's up to you. But this is the way the back looks and it is a little bit what I would call messy for the inside, but no one's going to be seeing that. They're only going to see these beautiful cable stitch ribbons that you made. So after you've completed your three pink ribbons or whatever color ribbon that you're making, we're going to repeat those three rows of single crochet. And so I'm just going to stitch three rows of single crochet here on the end of my headband. And that's going to give me the length that I need to go around my head. Now, if your head maybe is a little bigger or the person you're making this for wants it a little bit looser, you can add as many rows of single crochet here as needed. It's not going to affect the way the hat is made if you go on and make the slouchy because the, it is intended to fit loose and comfortable. All right, and so you can add as many rows needed of this single crochet to make it fit the head that you're making this for. We do want it to be loose and comfortable and comfortable to wear. All right, so I'm almost finished with the second row of single crochet. Chain one, now I need to do one more row and then we're gonna put the two ends of our band together. All right, so I finished those three rows of single crochet. I'm going to put the two ends of my band together. All right, I'll go through the first stitch here and the first stitch here. Grab that loop and we're going to slip stitch these together. So we'll go through both sides and slip stitch. And I do recommend you slip stitch it just a little bit loose because you don't want it puckering up on you when you're trying to make your hat. There we go. All right, so we're all stitched together. I'm gonna to make a chain one here. And it's a nice round hat. And I like to put the seam in the back, but if you wanna put it on the side, it doesn't really matter. The way the hat, rest of the hat is made is super simple, and it does not matter where you want your front to be. I just like having one of the ribbons like right front center of my hat. All right, now, if you're going to make this into a headband, you're going to want to single crochet evenly around the top and the bottom. You can do that in white or pink or another color. It's totally up to you. But I am going to be making this into a slouchy. 
And so I'm going to leave this color white and I am going to single crochet around this end. That way I don't have to come back and do that later. And so I'm just going to evenly single crochet just like I would if I was making the hat or the headband and just evenly single crochet trying to go in the stitches and not the holes. There's not a set number of stitches you need to have. You just want it to lay pretty, a little bit loose, so you still have your stretch, and work all the way around the edge of the band. And again, this is for either the hat or the headband. We're just evenly single crocheting around the bottom edge. I have evenly single crocheted all the way around. I'm going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch. Cut my yarn. <clears throat> then we'll go in that next stitch and pull that loop to the inside so we have a nice finish. Then I'll take my needle and weave that in. Now, before I do that, I want you to know that the next step is the other side and so we'll join our yarn whether you're making a slouchy or a headband and we'll do the same thing we'll evenly single crochet around the edge of our headband or hat band whichever that you're making because like I said, it makes a nice headband as well as a slouchy hat. All right, so we're evenly single crocheting around the other edge of our band. And after we do that, we'll take a few minutes and weave in these ends. So I have stitched an even row of single crochet on both ends of my band and you can see it makes a really nice headband if you just want to wear it as a headband. It, it does. It turns out really nice and I really love it. All right. But from here I'm going to show you how to take this headband and turn it into a really nice slouchy hat. All right. Let's turn this lovely headband into a quick and easy slouchy. It's really simple. Where we did our last single crochet stitch and joined, we're going to chain three and we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of our single crochet stitches around. Now I tried to place 72 single crochets around the top portion of my headband in order to make it into a slouchy hat. If you added rows back here to make it longer, it doesn't really matter because we're basically just stitching rows of double crochet around in order to make the top of the slouchy hat. We want it to be big and roomy and comfortable for people to wear, whether you're a chemo patient or someone who loves a chemo patient, the hat will work for you both. The key to making it really super comfortable is to make it loose, but also use really soft yarns. So I'm just going to stitch one double crochet in each of the single crochets around and join back to that chain three. I completed that row of one double crochet in each of my single crochets around. I joined to the chain three and chained three. Now I'm going to take that chain three out because I want to change colors. The color changing is totally up to you. You can do it a solid, you could even do it a variegated or an ombre, but I'm going to be striping every two rows of my double crochet rows.
That way I get both colors in there. But you could do your single crochet rows here in the pink. You could do this row in the pink and then switch to white or however colors that you want. You could even do lots of different colors. I know some of the ribbons like the thyroid cancer has three colors and so you might want to do three colors. It's just totally up to you how you want to make the top or even any of this pattern. I guess I could say the colors don't matter. Make it work for you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Snug it down and one double crochet in each of the double crochets working all the way around and I'm going to do two rows of double crochet in pink. Once you've completed the cable stitches for the ribbons and come to this point, the rest of the hat is a super duper easy pattern because we're just doing rows of double crochet. So I'm going to stitch two rows of double crochet all the way around in my nice bright pink color. Then it corresponds with my pink ribbons. I completed those two rows of that bright pink. I joined to my chain three. I'm going to bring in my color one and I'm going to do two stripes in the color one. So I'm going to chain three. I'm leaving my pink attached because I'm going to continue to stripe it every two rows in just simple and easy double crochet rows. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to continue to stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochet stitches around, join to my chain three, chain three, and repeat so I have two rows in my color one. So I repeated two rows of double crochet only in the white this time. And so what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat two rows and you're going to do that for six more rows. So you'll have two more rows of pink two more rows of white and two more rows of pink and we'll end on two pink rows. So basically you're stitching six more rows of double crochet. So you're going to repeat this six more times or for six more rows alternating your color every two rows. So I completed those additional six rows alternating my color every two rows. Now, you don't have to do yours that way. You can do it all one color. You can bring in a variegated. You can bring in an ombre, whatever you want to do for the top, or you can stick with how I did it. I just like this because it plays in nicely with my ribbons. All right, so now that we've done those additional six rows, we're going to tie off, but we're going to leave a long piece of yarn. I leave about 14, 18 inches because we're going to use that to gather this closed. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is tie this off. We're going to turn it wrong side out. And you can see here where I carried my colors up on the inside of my hat. All right, now we're going to grab that yarn and we're going to gather this close. So I'm going to put it on my needle. All right, and I'm just going to go along this top edge and go in and out of my stitches. We're just going to do this all the way around. I do about every two stitches and we're going to gather this up. All right, now I didn't take any decrease stitches here because this is a slouchy hat and it's going to fit slouchy and loose. And so I didn't see that any decrease stitches were needed for the top of this hat. If you were making it a little shorter and it was going to touch the back of the head where the gathering is, I probably would have done a couple of rows of decrease stitches. But this is a nice big slouchy comfy hat and so this works just fine. 
Alrighty, where did I go? There we go. So I'm just going along the top of those double crochet stitches, gathering that in about every two stitches going in and out. Where are you? There we go. All right, so now I'm back where I started. All right, let me pull this up here so you can see. I'm going to pull that nice and snug and I'm going to make a couple of loop stitches just right like this so we can get that as snug as possible. Make sure that hole's closed. All right, then what I do is I'll go across and I'll go across this way. And I'm just going across there just to snug that in. We don't want a hole in the top of our hat. Alrighty. Now before I tie that off, I'm going to go to the front, make sure that it looks nice and closed. See, we want that closed up. Alright, so now I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up my white, and I do this just so I have something to tie with. So I'm bringing up the last color change. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. We're going to snug that down. Because we definitely do not want the top of this to open. All right, now we do need to weave this one in. There we go. So we'll do that real quick and then we'll flip our hat over. So I uh, weaved in my ends and then I flipped my hat over and this is how it looks. Here's the top all nice and snugged in there. And I absolutely love how this hat turned out. It's roomy, it's big, and it's comfy. And here is my swatch that I practiced with and I do recommend when you're learning to do this cable stitch for our ribbons that you practice a little bit.